Hello, my community. I am your Tracy's Total Wellness Girl with Wellness Wednesday using the energy of Goddess Pose. This is a powerful standing sequence that can help activate your own courage, your own power. We're moving into that time where at the end of the year, things are coming to a close. It's also the time we're spending with loved ones and it's a time that can be very busy. Goddess Pose can help you feel grounded and reconnected to self. I encourage you to do this little sequence I offer you and take some deep breaths. Now, an essential oil that I love to activate with Goddess Pose is Elevation because it has specific oils that help elevate your mood and also elevate your consciousness, your awareness. I'm gonna take a little Elevation essential oil as I find my way up to Goddess Pose. And when I get to Goddess Pose, my knees are going to be bending Feet are gonna be out, so toes are out, heels are in, and I'm in this nice open stance. And you bounce a little in goddess, and while you're bouncing, it's a great opportunity. <sighs> Take some elevating breaths. <sighs> and now goddess pose is done with the knees bent. Now I like to bounce for a second to get those knees lubricated, and as you bend down, you're gonna to wanna to zip on up your pelvis so that your booty's not popping out and you're not compromising your low back. So you zip up. The knees only bend to the degree where they can be in alignment with your toes. Your arms are gonna come out, shoulder height, and then you're gonna bend the elbows and the palms will face each other. Your thighs are gonna to start to fire on up. Now the first way I love to do goddess pose is imagining here's my right side. This is my masculine energy side, the giving side of me. Where do I feel like I need to be more grounded and in my own power with giving? Left side, receiving. Where do I feel like I need to be in my own power with receiving? And you can breathe here, feeling the energy of each side, and then feel them start to harmonize together. How can you give and receive in harmony? Now you can hold this as long as you want. It will start to bring up emotions. Because your legs are going to be shaking. You're going to feel it. This is a time to feel your power and let go. I love to do... Ah, sigh out, let go breaths when I'm holding goddess pose and things start to get a little bit more intense. Now when you come out of the stationary goddess, you'll just rise up and lower and pause for a moment before you do anything else. After goddess pose, I recommend just doing a little quadricep stretch of some sort to open up your quads. Now with moving goddess pose, you would actually reach up, exhale, you have goddess legs, you're scooping down, this is called in a few yoga sequences, moon flower, because we're in the moon salutation energy of yoga here with goddess. And you can just do this flow, breathing in and breathing out. And this can help you to feel connected to divine, to trust and feel grounded. So those are the two ways for you to enjoy goddess pose. And it's a wonderful ritual for you to do every day. It's very activating, it helps with energy and it can help you feel more like self. I love blending with the elevation because the aroma helps me to feel more embodied in the posture. If you're interested in any more things like this from personal yoga, virtual wellness, or any way that I can support you, please feel free to reach out. I'm here to support women to create more epic self-care in their lives so that they can go and do that work that creates and generates a legacy. Be well.